Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Turkey and Pakistan, just these four nations. We have a population 78 times larger, seven times the number of aircraft, five times the number of tanks, eight and a half times the number of naval fleet, 3.4 times the amount of defense budget. This is not an issue of capability. This is not an issue of weakness. This is not an issue that we are unable to remove this occupation. In fact, aren't we the Ummah? Isn't our history known to be the materially weaker side? Or are we known to be the smaller numbers? Is that not us? Is that what we're known for? Badr, Khandak, Muta, Tabuk, Yarmouk, Qadisiyah. These were all battles in which we were the fewer number and the less military equipment, but we smashed the enemy. That's our legacy. This is what our Ummah is known to be. But that is the disease today, which has plagued the minds and the hearts of this Ummah. We have been duped into thinking that Islam is not fit for the 21st century. Islam is for the olden days. Islam is for the medieval days. Islam is incapable of, of solving the problems of the Ummah today. But in fact, what you find is the opposite is true. That every other thing other than Islam has failed. Every other thing other than Islam is unfit for the Muslims. Or you who have believed, what is the matter with you? What's wrong with you? That when you are told to go forth in the cause of Allah, that you adhere, you cling heavily to the earth. Allah SWT mentioned in the next ayah, if you do not go forth, Allah, He will punish you with a painful punishment and will replace you with another people and that will not harm him at all. That's not going to harm Allah to replace us with another people. Allah SWT mentioned in another ayah of the Quran, remove them, expel them from where they have expelled you from. Remove them from where they have removed you from. Allah SWT mentioned in another ayah of the Quran, what is the matter with you? What's wrong with you? That you do not fight in the cause of Allah and for the oppressed men and women and children. The Islamic solution is clear. To remove occupation, you require liberation. You require liberation from the power and the strength and the capability of this Muslim Ummah. 